What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Sneakerhead on a budget, one of the hardest working sneakerheads on YouTube. Go and give me a like, share, subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out because YouTube trying to hold us down out here, budget fam. Damn! <laughs> Alright, so boom, what's good guys? Again, if you give us a like and, and a subscribe, it definitely helps out with the channel. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate everybody who does and help us in this journey. You could be the one to help us there. So I do appreciate you guys, especially if you love this content. But let's get into the video. So as you've seen from the picture on the thumbnail, your boy copped a nice pair of Amamanias. And I do want to review this with you guys because this was the sneaker of the year in my opinion for last year for 2021 now with saying that um i did see this pair on goat and it got me thinking about using the affirm app and this video is not sponsored it's not sponsored by goat this is not sponsored by affirm i just want to let you go let you guys know my experiences by using um both of these platforms so goat as you know it's like stock x i'm um, like ebay they do authentications you can sell on there um, used, the good thing about Goat is you can sell used and new on there, which is good for people who are on a budget like myself, who don't want to really spend full resale prices, they do have that on there. So I did see this pair on there, and I'm very impatient. I had some sales going through, and I seen this shoe drop in price, like drastically. Somebody posted up, they want to get rid of it. And so me, with the graces of them doing the authentication, I said, you know what? This is great for me to get a chance. It's not like old eBay. If you know, you know, where you have to take a chance, buy the shoe, run to somebody you know to get a legit check or shop just to make sure it's good before you have to return them things back for being fake. Nah. So they went ahead and did all that work for me. I even got an extra discount on it because the box was damaged. The box is damaged in the corner, which you can barely see. But whatever, I'll take my additional $30, $30 off. So again, I was a little impatient when it came to the shoe, but I didn't want the deal to go past. So what a firm did is I went ahead and put a... Uh, the sell in, so I went ahead and bought the shoes. I did the affirm. So, affirm does is gives you a payment plan on how to pay for the shoe, so you don't have to fully pay. I honestly think it is a good thing, especially if you know income is coming in and you don't want to wait, especially when you see a deal at a perfect time. It kind of sucks when you see a deal, you wait for something to happen, you wait for to get paid, or you wait for something to happen, and then the deal is gone, the sell is gone, the shoe that was what was 400 that somebody dropped the 200 or sometimes you even get people who don't even know what the hell is going on i had people tell me plenty of times where do i sell these shoes at i just want to get rid of them i don't care so i tell them go ebay stock x all these other places and they legit go on there and just post their stuff for deals it happens all the time and all people are like wait a minute you can't get that stuff for a sale you actually can there's people who i know personally who don't actually buy fakes i've seen them buy shoes in full locker and they sit there and they're not sneaker heads and they don't really care they just want their money back so they post it up if they can't sell it on something they don't really care for the resale they just post the thing up and get it so you get people like that who bought the shoe that thought it was cool at the time and now they don't care or they need car parts or something and so they post it up so they can get the sale so this cop could have happened with these i don't know but they went for a good sale and i got from 30 dollars off because i guess something was wrong with the box but yeah i went into a firm and i uh put it in my offer now i think a firm gives you a few options um like one is like a four payment plan one could be like a six to eight and one could be a year payment plan i believe if you do like a year then they get you with the uh the additional fees on top of that but i think the first two don't have fees so i use it on here I, I had a pleasant experience i paid off the shoes um honestly my opinion if you have the funds or your money is financially correct i would advise you to do that especially on a really expensive shoe if you want to get like a really like high-end shoe and you don't want to pay the full price now uh, that'd be a good idea to do now i am not a financial advisor and i can't tell you guys what to do but definitely be smart with your money and so if you do have the funds to do so, you just don't want to spend all the money now, it's definitely a good app. Um, I've used Gold a few times. I've had a bad experience one time where um, the shoe was dropped off in the middle of the night, like midnight, and I woke up and it was out there and it's like slugs on the box. If you've seen that video, you kind of know if you know. So that was kind of my first experience with Gold. After that, I kind of had a pleasant experience with Gold. I haven't really had any issues. Um, one time I tried to get a shoe <clears throat> and there was an issue with the shoe, which was messed up. And then um, they actually told me, hey, this shoe is messed up. It's not what the listing said. We advise not to, not to go through the purchase, but it's totally your decision. And they sent me the, what the look look of it looked like. And I was like, dude, I appreciate that. What other place does that? So again, this is not an ad for them, but I just said I had a pleasant experience with them so far. But let's get into the shoe because I am really excited about it. And again, um, you have the Ah uh, Ma Meniere. If you know the box, then you know what this is. As you look up there, 
check out that right there. It's a size 12. Your boy got these. Um, and again, this is one of those women's shoes that came in extended sizes that is very controversial when it comes to um, people saying, hey, why are you getting women's shoes? Uh, hey, sometimes they don't, but I really don't care. But I like how I'm a mirror coming with this little covering on the box. Kind of gives us this little extra thing. If you know, you know, your boy likes anything creative with the box or anything. So I love the touch. I think Travis does that uh, as well with the ones. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I really dig the uh, I'm on the Year logo. That's all over the box. Gives a nice little touch. Again, we have the Jordan Flight on the box. We've seen the bite of this box is two tone. You got the little the little hole right there. I'm not gonna figure it this time. And then we're gonna open this thing right here. We have the I'm on the Year paper and this shoe smells like a Foot Locker, yo. This shoe is crazy. Let's go ahead and open these up. And here you got the shoe. Yo, this smells like a brand new shoe. It doesn't, doesn't look like the insole was used or anything. I can tell that they was worn by the bottoms, but you can't really tell these were actually worn. Hey, that's a W. That's a big dub. So again, this is the 2021 shoe of the year, sneaker of the year, if this is your preference. Um, they really did a great job with this. The suede on this shoe is good. I love the luxurious part of the inside of the shoe as you see right there it's like a quilted inside i'm um, looking here on the tongue the tongue leather is super soft as well you have the ama Manier logo on the tongue as well you do have the suede accents right here on the shoe and i believe this came with a fresh pair of laces which i'm actually thinking about switching to these i do like the cream laces a lot more but as you see they have that little aged part on the midsole at the bottom that goes with that little light brown or whatever if you want to call it brown but this shoe is kind of a classic it's kind of like a low tint nothing too crazy i'm on the year definitely puts great materials when it comes to their shoes and they definitely keep the same kind of uh color coating when it comes to it. kind of like a I like a light color when it comes to it. So I definitely dig these and you can definitely go with a lot of uh, outfits and I've seen a lot of people put together. They have that Nike Air in the back and that cream sail kind of uh, back tab, which is a nice little touch. And everybody loves the Nike Air, so they threw that in the back. Um, again, you have the cream or you can say the sail um, eyelets for the laces uh, on the middle right there. And again, this is a, definitely a beautiful shoe if you take a look at that. Um, I actually thought this shoe was crazy when it came out. I took an L on the website. I took an L on Nike. And so I wasn't really too happy with those. But I'm glad I was able to get this pair now. Especially for the deal I got it in. I'm trying to see what else is in here. So you have the Alma Manier little uh, ticket right there that's in the box. We also have the Nike Air Tab uh, right here. I probably won't put this on the shoe. I kind of don't like it kind of hanging off. So I'll probably keep that off. But for right now, man, I'm actually really enjoying the shoe. I'm actually great, happy that I got it for a deal. I'm happy I can take the deal with the Affirm to make sure I can get it. So all in all, I truly think Affirm is actually a great piece if you're smart with it. Um, I don't recommend getting a shoe that you can't essentially pay for. Then you're just putting yourself in a, in a, in a tight situation. I, would, well, I wouldn't want that for anybody. But when it comes down to you know it, um, you see the deal, you don't want to wait on it. Plus, you know you have the means to get it. I don't see why not, and this is definitely one of the shoes that I want to do that with, especially because the deal I got it for, the, the loveliness, the beautifulness of this shoe, and all that. So what do you guys think of this shoe in general? Have you guys used the Affirm app? Have you guys used it with GOAT? Tell me your experiences in the comments. I definitely want to have a chit chat with you guys about it. Again, I can't wait to put these on feet. This is your boy Sneakerhead on the budget. I appreciate y'all. I'll check y'all later. Peace. Hope you love all of my shit. I hope you love all of my shit.